Hello, my pals. This is Holly, and I've got great news. We're going to space. The ground crew says, all right, everyone, your mission is to deliver supplies to the space station and meet up with the crew there. Good luck. Thank you, ground crew. I know that this is going to be a very difficult and dangerous mission, but by gosh, I think we've got the right crew to handle it. The bay doors are closed, the crew is assembled, and if you want to follow me on Roblox, my username is kawaii underscore unicorn. You can uh, come along to space. You guys want to come? We're leaving pretty soon, so you better hop on. Oh my gosh, we're in space. Space is loading. Welcome, friends, to Space Story. A journey into the universe. A journey into the unknown. Who knows what could happen here? Location. Where's the location? Stromono Station. Oh my gosh, we're on Stromono Station. And we've got a mission. The mission is deliver the supplies to Stromono. All right, everyone, you heard the mission. We need to deliver these supplies to the good people of Stromono. And if we don't, well, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh my gosh, am I flying? A, I think I might be flying a plane. Oh, <laughs> looks like there's not too many people on the plane. But I mean, I think we've got a pretty good crew. So, um, oh my gosh, am I the only pilot? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! What happened? A flash of light! I hope I didn't crash the plane. Oh no, we're good. We're still in space. Oh, Trans Girl Boy says, we must be in orbit. Right, orbit, of course. That's exactly what I meant to do as the competent pilot of the space station. Um, Autumn Love says, we should stay in our seats. We're going to make a turn to get to the station. All right, I guess that's me. I'm gonna be making this turn. Okay. <laughs> it's like, objective, stay in your seat. I reckon I can handle that for another seven seconds. How about you? Wow, it is so exciting to be in space. I like have barely left my house for like two years and oh my gosh, now I'm in space. Oh, cool, are we all right? Did a little flip there. Just gonna check on everything that's uh, happening up here in the cockpit and, uh, oh no, uh, oh, oh, uh oh. Laura says, welcome to Stromono. I'm Laura, Stromono's artificial intelligence and station computer. Hmm, all right, I've already got some suspicions about Laura. Um, Laura says, please exit, please exit the shuttle and enter the decompression chamber. Um, oh no, it's gotta get into the decompression chamber. All right, everybody, come on. We're getting into the decompression chamber. Last one in is gonna not get decompressed. It does look like we're working with a bit of a skeleton crew here. It's just me, Autumn Love, and Trans Girl Boy. Um, we're a great crew. Don't get me wrong. We're one of the best out there. Um, but, you know, we don't have a whole lot of hands on deck, so we're all gonna have to be on our toes. Okay, we're decompressing. I don't know about all of you, but I'm already a little bit suspicious of this artificial intelligence system, Laura. I hope that Laura doesn't turn out to be evil, but I've just got this feeling that she might actually be like an evil computer. Um, so Autumn Love, Trans Girl Boy, everyone stay on their toes. Um, keep an eye on Lara. Ooh, we got a little bit of turbulence. Okay, hopefully we should be arriving here soon. Oh, it's me, I'm like, ah, what was that? I think it was a little bit of like turbulence maybe, or maybe we were just landing on the station. Oh, Lara's got some answers. Uh, Lara says, it appears your ship has broken off from the Stromono. Sorry, you're telling me that the ship has broken off from the base? So are we just like floating through space or something? Autumn Love's like, oh no, how are we gonna get back to Earth? Oh, that's a great question. Lara, any thoughts? How are we gonna get back to Earth? How are we going to deliver the supplies? That's our main mission. All right, so Lara says, make your way up to the bridge and you will be able to steer the shuttle back to the station using my remote piloting system. Please don't ask me what kind of accent I'm trying to do for Lara there. I'm just trying to sound like a robot. Okay, new objective, exit the decompression chamber. Now that we've all been uh, decompressed, it's time to steer this bad boy uh, back to the station, I guess. Okay, where do we go? Uh Oh, the door's locked. Hey, Autumn Love, did you lock the door? Hmm, okay. Well, it looks like we are back up here. Is this where we need to be? Hmm, I uh, don't know about this. Hmm, wow, this place is really big. Look at all this. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> it's like the ship's really big or space is really big or I don't even know. Hey, what's happening to the lights? <gasps> Laura, I am experiencing a small system error and I need your help to fix it. Oh, Laura, okay, don't worry, we're here to help you. Um, okay, what do we need to do? On this screen will appear a color. Okay, yeah, I see red. We got some red, Lara. Oh no, we got blue, blue. Lara, the answer's blue. Oh no, it's pink. Orange? Oh no, what's happening? Solve the puzzle using the color panels. 
All right, you know what? I am so glad that this is a color-related puzzle. Um, hopefully, we're gonna be able to solve this all together. Okay, so blue. Looks like we got a blue. Wait, have we started yet? <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. Don't worry, Lara, we are so on this. Do I just need to make them all blue? <laughs> okay, get off these things, guys. I'm trying to make them all blue. No, don't, don't mess with it. Okay, we've got them blue. Oh no, these ones too. <laughs> all right, well, I guess, you know what? We're gonna help Lara out here because, um, you know, we're a team, we all work together. That's one of the main things that we uh, believe in here on this crew. Oh look, everyone's working together. That's great. Okay, get that one blue too. Yes, cool. I think we did it. Lara says, the system failure should now be resolved. Cool, glad that we took care of that. Okay, so what's next? Oh, Autumn Love has a thought. Autumn Love says, Hmm, Laura, when can we expect to meet the crew members? Oh, that's a great point, actually. I didn't really think of that. Um, so we, who else are we waiting for? Laura says, I don't understand your question. The Stromono has no crew members. Oh, okay. Um, so you're like the only crew member. This is like a, um, uh, uh, it's not piloted. Oh, trans girl boy says, what? Laura, that's impossible. We're supposed to meet with the station crew. Oh, are we? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Laura. We are supposed to meet with the station crew. What have you done with them? Oh, Laura says, Error. My memory bank does not list any crew members. The Stromono has no crew. Now that the problem is resolved, I'm able to open the door. Hmm. Oh, no, fires! <gasps> Laura says, Follow the hall to reach the bridge. Um, I would love to do that, but unfortunately we've got some major electrical fires happening in the hall. Um, oh my gosh. Trans girl boy is like, what happened here? That is a great question. Um, what did happen here? We've got fires, we've got electrical fires. Oh my gosh, Lara says, error, cannot connect to memory bank. Oh, well, it looks like uh, you can't connect to the memory bank because nobody's plugged it in. Look at this panel on the wall. Lara's memory bank is destroyed. Oh my gosh, Lara's memory bank is destroyed. Who could have possibly done this? Autumn Love says, that explains why Lara can't remember the crew or what happened here. Well, by gosh, I think we've got a mystery on our hands. Something happened to the crew and we'll be better able to figure out what to do when we get to the bridge. Lara, uh, how do we get there? How do we get to the bridge? <laughs> It's not through the fires, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's totally gonna be through the fires. Oh yeah, no surprise. Okay, so uh, Laura says, we'll have to go down this hall. There is no other way to reach the bridge. Okay, all right, well, um, you know what? That's actually fine. Um, we'll just have to jump over all of these <laughs> wires. Be careful, I detect several hazards and electrical wires on the floor. Touching one of these hazards could injure you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Laura thinks that we don't know how fire works. I'm like, yeah, don't want to touch um, the burning piles of electrical wire on the floor. That makes sense. Uh, but that's cool, don't worry. I'm going to get over these and no problem at all. Kind of a little bit of an expert when it comes to this. Hopefully I don't touch a wire and make a fool of myself. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh, it looks like someone's ahead of me too. Oh, wow, they're really good. Um, okay, cool. I think we did it. By the way, if you're on your way to space and you need any Robux, you can always use my star code Cunicorn. Really, really helps me out. Also, if you have any theories about what happened to the crew, let me know in the comment section because I think my suspicion is that Laura is behind everything. I think there was a crew and I think Laura wiped them out for reasons I, I don't actually know yet. Oh, oh, she says, please wait while I bring down the elevator. Um, cool, no stress, we can do that. Oh. Autumn Love says, I'm starving. I'm sure we can get something to eat in here. Oh my gosh, is it gonna be space food? I am so excited for some space food. Maybe space ice cream or space mashed potatoes. Oh no, I'm like, look, apples, my favorite fruit. Cannot believe that we have apples in space. This is, oh my gosh, we got so many apples in space. Are we just only eating apples? I think we're on an all apple diet. <laughs> all right, that's cool. I'll eat my weight in apples. Eat up, everybody. We're gonna have to solve the mystery of the missing crew. And you don't wanna be doing that without a stomach full of apples, I'll tell you that much. Honestly though, how long does it take Lara to get an elevator? Autumn Love says, ugh, this food must have been out for weeks. These apples are rotten. Oh, stop eating the apples. We don't wanna eat, we don't eat, wanna eat rotten apples. 
Wow, that's so strange that there was so much food, but there's no crew. Lara says, the bridge elevator has arrived. Please take a seat. Hmm, okay. That's a little bit eerie, having like a whole mess hall full of rotten food. A little bit suspicious. I think we should stick together. Yeah, and, and hold hands. Oh no, come back. We were holding hands. Okay, just, uh, we'll just hold hands. That's okay. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit scared. <laughs> Autumn Love's like, I actually don't want to hold hands with you. I'm going to sit on the other side of the elevator. That's fine. We're just chilling. Ooh, look at this elevator. It's like a glass elevator heading all the way up to the bridge. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's see what's on the bridge. Hmm. Hopefully, we can get to the bottom of what happened to the crew and deliver these important supplies. Let's not forget about the supplies. That's our whole mission. All right. Uh, ooh, blast door. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, is this the bridge? It's certainly got a lot of buttons. And um, buttons are pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there's something else. Lara says, opening blast door. Oh, maybe this is the bridge. Wow, this looks... Oh my gosh! What happened here? Oh my gosh! This is horrible! The crew! They're all dead. Laura, what happened here? Laura? Laura, you need to give us some answers, and quickly! Ever, my memory does not recall... Laura, I'm starting to think it's a little bit convenient. All of the things that you can't recall. Oh my gosh, it's a... This is awful. Trans Girl Boy says, we need to get back home now. Laura, where is the shuttle control so we can escape? Let me guess. She doesn't know. What does she say? Does she say error? Oh no, what does she say? This is the remote shuttle system. Is it working though? Because I need to leave immediately. I'm surrounded by a crime scene. Ooh, that's scary. Um, okay, so Laura says... When turned on, it uses a powerful signal to take control of your shuttle. Okay, so um, when where's the information about how quickly I can get off of this bridge? Because um, this is terrifying. Oh my gosh, there's blood on the walls. Um, okay, so shuttle ready to go? Are we ready to go or no? Oh, what's happening? Huh. Laura says, the controls let you fly the shuttle back as if you were sitting in it. Um, okay, cool. That's good, I guess. Um, Laura says, only one person can operate the shuttle controls, and they sit in the seat. Okay, um, team, um, I nominate me. Would, would you like me to be the person who flies? Because I'm volunteering if uh, no one else wants to do it. Oh, uh, the remote system is turned on by pulling down this lever. Hmm, all right. Then what happens? Laura says, then you will be able to fly the shuttle back to the station, get in, and go back to Earth. Oh, I would love to be back on Earth right now. I would love to be back on Earth so bad. Okay, what do we think, team? Have we got any other volunteers who want to fly the shuttle? Um, because, like I said, I mean, I, I flew us here, and I thought I did a pretty good job. You know, we made it here, sort of. Um, so, any thoughts? Oh, no, maybe I've got a bit of competition. But I'm getting in the seat. I'm in the seat now. All right, we good? I'm pulling the lever. <laughs> All right, remote piloting system. Oh, my gosh! Oh! <gasps> Oh, excuse me. How did that happen? Uh, I'm going to need an extra life. I got to go back in there. I am not going to let Laura get away with this. Did she know that the best pilot was going to sit in the seat and get like fully exploded? Oh, I'm back. Oh my gosh, what happened? Laura's like, ever remote system broken. Oh, Laura, you so did that. You totally blew me up. Look, I've, I've been exploded. Autumn Love's like, now we're never going to get home. And yeah, we're just going to be stuck in space with this psycho intelligence system all right laura what have you got she says i am detecting a holographic message saved <gasps> oh my gosh maybe it's a message from the crew <gasps> it's first officer kingsley he's like hello hello this is first officer kingsley of the space station strabono and i've got an important message for you people of the future if you are watching this message it means that i and the crew of the strabono are probably dead yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry to break it to you, actually. You're totally dead. Um, you're kind of lying all over the floor. Earlier today, we experienced a safety breach in Bay 2. <gasps> Not Bay 2. That's my second favorite bay. 
An alien creature was brought on board our ship by a crew making a fuel stop as they returned back from Mars. Oh my gosh, an alien stowaway. That is such bad luck. The crew had discovered eggs on Mars and brought them back in a sealed container. Oh my gosh, don't bring back the alien eggs. That's like the first rule of space. Um, these eggs were sealed in the Stramonos med bay and were incubated by our team of medical officers. And one eventually hatched. Oh my gosh, it's getting all like Jurassic Park up in here. Um, cool, well that sounds like bad news. Um, while harmless at first, this life form grew rather quickly and showed signs of mood change with development. Oh my gosh, they became like a teenager. <laughs> it's like a cranky teenage alien. It soon became too much to handle and was sealed in the med bay to prevent it from attacking the Stramonos crew. Oh, well, it's not gonna like that. Doesn't wanna be locked up in the med bay. That's just asking for trouble. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It wasn't long before the creature broke out of the med bay, which we didn't think would be possible. Ooh, but it was possible. How do you know what's gonna be possible when you've got like a new baby alien? It's like, it's kind of anyone's guess really. So as for us, We've decided to lock ourselves here in the bridge and record our last activities in Lara's memory bank. Okay, bad news about the memory bank. I'm so sorry. Um, we, we don't have it. Uh, we will organize our escape from here until arrives controlling the... What? What is going on? Lara? Lara's like, error, connection to memory bank lost. End of transmission. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the... Introduction of these alien eggs, which I am loving, by the way. But, Lara, you are not off the hook yet. Autumn Love says, so that's what happened to them. They brought something on board and lost control of it. Uh-oh. Lara, what are you saying? Warning. Motion detective in the elevator shaft. Uh-oh, I think we've got a cranky alien on our hands. Um, okay, has anyone got any special um, experience dealing with um, cranky aliens? Or quick, Lara, shut the blast door. Shut the blast door. Lara, Lara, blast door, please. Anyone gonna- oh my gosh, okay. Ugh. Lara says, error, unable to connect to the blast door. Oh my gosh, why isn't there like a doorknob or something? We needed a manual override. Okay. Oh, here we go. Lara says, you will have to shut it manually using the emergency pumps. Ooh, it's a lot of emergency pumps. Okay, we gotta do this quickly. Once all of them are turned, the door will be completely shut. Oh, why are there so many? <laughs> There's an alien coming. It's in the elevator shaft. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta go quickly. Okay, turny, 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 turn to turn. Oh, it's actually pretty quick. Okay, come on, everyone. Turn the knobs. Turn them quickly. There's an alien coming. What are you doing over here? Hurry up. Oh my gosh. Okay, just running through the pile of the pool of blood on the floor. And okay, there we go. Last one, last one, last one. Closing. Is it closing? Trans Girl Boy says, I have a feeling whatever out there is what attacked the crew. Oh my gosh, I think you're right. Autumn Love says, well, at least we're safe in here. This is the safest room in the entire station. Oh my gosh, you say that, but like we're surrounded by the crew and they're not doing so well. <sighs> okay, she says, but look what happened to the crew. They thought it was safe in here too. Oh my gosh, she's just like having like a <laughs> argument with herself. Both great points. Uh-oh. Lara says, Warning. My systems detect a fire. The bridge will explode in 15 seconds. Find a way out. Oh. Okay. Cool. So much for the safest place. And oh my gosh, there's the fire. Uh, okay. Come on. Let's go. Oh, there's an exit door. <gasps> Trans girl boy says, Look. There's a door here. Yeah, a big door marked exit. I like it. Should we go through? Uh-oh. Run. Run, we're going to explode. Close the door, close the door. Oh, oh my gosh. C come on, let's get through. <laughs> come on, what are you doing? <laughs> it's seriously, it's like fully exploding. Oh my gosh, it's exploding. Guys, come on. <gasps> oh no. More fire. Ooh, what are we supposed to do here? Okay. Oh, okay, we're good. Um, Just try to get a, ooh, try to miss the explosions. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, everything is exploding around us. This can't be good. We don't have a spare space station, do we? <laughs> oh, look, we made it to, oh my gosh, I think we're in the med bay. Uh, oh, and we're um, in the same room as some alien eggs. That's not good. Laura says, 
You will need to turn on the fire extinguisher system before the fire gets in. Yeah, it's a pretty good idea, actually. We don't want the whole thing to go exploding. All right, Laura says... You will need to enter a four-digit code, but the code was torn up accidentally. Well, that was really, really silly of you. Laura says, find all the pieces and hit the yellow button to turn on the fire extinguisher before it's too late. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we're just like gonna have to run all over the spaceship looking for like torn up bits of paper. Like what even? Um, all right, any torn up bits of paper over here? Looking for a, oh, oh, I found one. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder than this, but okay, don't knock over the alien eggs. We hate that. Um, oh, what's that? Is that one there? Oh, yes, okay. Just need one more piece. Found it. Oh, you guys are gonna be so happy. Okay, there we go. The code is 8627. Lars like, good. You managed to put out the fire. Very little help from you, Lara. You'd think, what if we weren't here? Like, the place would just explode because you can't remember a four-digit code like some computer you are. Hey, wait a second. Look, the eggs on the table. This is where the crew first brought them. Uh, yeah, it fully is. Look at those alien eggs. They are looking gorgeous. Uh-oh, don't you see what this all means? We're being hunted by an alien. <laughs> Maybe the alien just wants their eggs, like their eggy brothers and sisters. This place gives me the creeps. Laura, open the door, please. Laura? Laura, open the door. Laura says, opening door. No, you're not, though. Laura. <laughs> oh, no, there we go. Hey, where's the rest of the... Where's the rest of the crew? I had two crew members, and now I don't see them. Um, Laura, how can we get off this station? Um, because, you know, we need to get out of here before uh, that thing gets to us. You know, the uh, alien that's kind of running loose all over the ship? Seriously, where is the rest? Where are my crew members? Huh. Laura says, There are escape pods in Bay 3, but in order to launch them, the self-destruct sequence must be activated. What? So we're just going to blow this whole thing up? You have five minutes to reach the escape pods before the station self-destructs. What? What? You're just starting it now. Why don't you start it when I'm, like, right outside of the escape, escape pod? Um, because otherwise I might just be, um, you know, running from an alien, might be busy. I have lost connection to all doors. I can no longer open them for you. Oh, Laura, you're killing me! You'll have to open the door to the greenhouse. Ooh. Okay. Um... Okay, I'll, I'll try to do that and open the door. Maybe, here we go. Cool, all right. Oh, wow, looks nice in here. <gasps> wow, this is cool. Can I get in there, though? Hmm. It's a bit weird. Um, something doesn't feel right. I'm not going to get attacked by an alien in here, am I? I'm going to be so upset if I get attacked by an alien. Motion detected in the greenhouse. Is it me? Is it just me? Is the motion me? Or is it the alien? Oh my gosh, please don't be the alien. Oh, no, it's the alien. <laughs> Laura, how do we get out of here? Look, he's an alien. He's upset at me. All right, tell me how to get out of here. Where are those escape pods? Wait while I calculate an escape route. Oh my gosh, you've got to be joking. Do it instantly. You're a computer. Help. Oh no, I've got 60 seconds. <laughs> how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh no, there's the alien. Ah, no. No, no, he's going to get me. No, I don't want to be alien lunch. Are you sure I can't interest you in some vegetables? We've got lots of wonderful things growing here in the horticultural section that are much tastier than a human in a spacesuit, which I hear are really, really tough and give you really bad indigestion. So unless you want to spend the... Oh my gosh, they're so close. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I almost got eaten. Oh, I can hear birds. There's birds in here. Birds are so much more delicious than people. You got to trust me on this one. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to- Oh no, I'm getting eaten. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Do I just run in circles for another 15 seconds until Lara can like construct a, an escape route for me? Or what do I do? Okay, we'll just keep jumping in circles. No, no, I'm trapped. Oh, no, no, oh no. <laughs> oh, my health is getting low. This alien just keeps taking bites out of me. <gasps> oh, the vent will be able to bring you to Bay 3. Oh my gosh, get me in that vent. I have never been so happy to see a vent in my entire life. Oh no, don't eat me. I gotta get to the vent. <laughs> All right, this way. 
She's illuminating a path for me, but the alien is hot on my tail. So, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> let's just try to be nice and quick here. Luckily, this alien and I are pretty evenly matched. Where's my vent? Oh no, there's my vent. Oh, ah! Yes, be careful. The vent has multiple exits. Only one exit will bring you to the escape pods. Okay, can you bring back those like glowing arrows? Those are pretty helpful before. No, okay. If you choose the wrong exit, you will not be able to reach the escape pods. Okay, more information, Lara. Where is that alien? I'm really glad that the alien didn't follow me in here. Choose wisely. <sighs> Lara, this isn't a game, okay? This isn't a game. This is a matter of life and death. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, if I were an escape pod, where would I be? Hmm. So many exits. What about this one? This good? Escape pod? Escape pod? This seems good. This seems promising. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I've reached the escape pods. Is this it? How do I... Um, oh, Lara, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. And that alien could be here any moment. Okay. Well, at least it looks like we found the escape pods. So um, that's good. I'll just wait a few seconds here. All right. I'm ready for my next instructions. Oh, Lara. Thank goodness you're here. You've made it to the escape pods. I sure have. Laura, are you the alien? Tell me the truth. <laughs> Escape pod two is experiencing an error. Nothing on this space station works. I feel like we need to deal with that if I get off of here alive. Hmm, Laura says, you will have to take Escape pod one. I mean, that's cool and all, but it doesn't look like it's got any fuel. The Escape pod needs fuel. Fill the Escape pod with fuel. Oh, <sighs> Laura. This really should have been done earlier. Fuel up the pod using the fuel system. Okay, we've got zero out of 100, and I'm gonna say we need 100 out of 100, or as much as we can do at least. Um, but, you know, next time you're using an escape pod, fill it up when you leave, because, you know, it's an escape situation. It kind of makes sense that we would need to move quickly. <laughs> but, okay, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to fill this up. Very slowly. Now that the alien doesn't come. Okay, so I guess it's time for like, I'm pretty much about to escape the space station. So time for final theories. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think that Lara is actually the alien? Do you think Lara is behind all of this? Um, or some other unexpected alien related plot line? Maybe I'm the alien. Maybe one of those, maybe some more of those alien eggs will hatch. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe the alien and I will become friends and ride off into the galaxy together. A red tag crew of humans and aliens working together um, to hatch eggs and, um, you know, bring joy to the galaxy. That'd be good. Okay, eight seconds left. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I've almost got 100% fuel. Can I get one more? One. Oh. Why did I fall apart? Oh my gosh. Okay, give me some more lives. <laughs> give me some more lives. I'm not done. I got to escape. Okay, cool. And, oh, I, where am I? Oh, I'm in, I'm, I think I'm in the pod. All right, we're in pod number one. In order to launch, you must activate the pod. <sighs> Laura, do it for me, please. Activate the pod. Okay, how do I activate the pod? Okay, Laura's gonna give me some instructions here. To activate the pod, solve the puzzle on the table. Well, we really love puzzles. This is the last puzzle <laughs> that I am doing on this space station. Okay. Just going to make all of the red lines go around the outside. Oh yeah, that looks good. Nice. And activate. Take your seats. I'm the only one left. I don't actually know what happened to everyone else. They probably, um got eaten by aliens or something so i don't know best of luck to them in the next life and it's time for me to leave in the escape pod cool all right back to space oh my gosh we didn't even deliver the supplies oh no wait maybe we, we tried to deliver the supplies um but the crew was all dead so i guess they didn't have very many needs left um cool heading off to space whatever happened to that alien the other escape pod. Is it moving? 
Oh my gosh, I think the other escape pod might be heading off into space. Is it? Oh my gosh, it is. Um, red alert, red alert. I think we're being pursued by an alien. Hopefully that comes up in part two of Space Story. Victory! We did it. We survived space. Well, I say we, but I was really the only one that survived, survived space, but we did it. Thanks to the crew and Laura. I'm sorry I thought you were evil.